As states move closer to legalizing marijuana and felony arrests drop, data still shows Hispanic people were twice as likely to be arrested for marijuana than their white counterparts. In just a few weeks, Texas will expand eligibility for people who can legally use marijuana, including those with cancer. In this morning's Good Day Together, we spoke with a Hispanic-owned South Austin CBD shop owner who says that with the changes in Texas law, many can come out of hiding, something she wished for the man who adopted her. Here she is. This is Mary J. We were born because of him. Larry Graham, the inspiration behind Mary J, a CBD shop on South Lamar. Definitely some bud. Hershey's, he loves chocolate. Jay, in the tradition of her Guatemalan heritage, is setting up an altar for her father. He lost his battle to cancer nearly six years ago. Through that, I asked him if I could share cannabis with him. And he's like, I'm dying anyways. And I was like, don't say that. But we, my brother and I ended up sharing cannabis with him. Once they did, even doctors noticed a change. He started eating. He started being able to go to the park. Doctors were like, what are you doing with him? I was so nervous to share the fact that uh, I brought cannabis into his life. And every doctor that day that we told was at quality of life. Look at him. He's 82. Cancer and cirrhosis. Look at him. As a Hispanic woman, she feared it could land her in jail, but the shop owner took the risk. She believes cannabis helped her father live another 10 years. He was the one that told me to be proud of who I am and share cannabis with people like him, um, mainly elderly people. And so that's the mission for this South Austin shop. But that was it. I wanted to create a safe space where the elderly could come in. Women, people of color, the queer community, everything that we are. I wanted a safe space for them, so that's what we are. A space some see as out of the norm, but life-changing for her queer and BIPOC community. And then to be able to have people, uh, patients and customers come in and say, I've read your story about your father, help me. Help my grandparents, help my mom, help my dad. How do I talk to them about it? How do we introduce it? They think you're just going to get you high. No, not all cannabis gets you high. Changing times for a changing industry, cancer researchers say can potentially help with pain relief in cancer patients. It's amazing to see the next generation. I'm like, what do your kids think of it? Oh, it's just, you know, natural medicine. Are you kidding me? I did not grow up like that. So we have hope. We have hope, people. Yeah. All right, you guys. Oh. The shop has been open since October of 2017. If you're interested in learning more about the business, check out shopmaryj.com.